Hello and welcome back again. Today we are going to create this awesome intro animation. Let's first enable the guides and then format our background. Right click and choose format background. Select fill type as gradient and make it a two step gradient. Change step colors to white and light gray color. Now go to insert tab and draw rounded rectangle. Decrease its roundness and adjust its size. Make it no outline and fill it with solid light gray color. Go to shadow options and apply auto shadow. Increase its distance and blur values until you get desired effect. Now go to insert tab and again draw rounded rectangle. Increase its roundness and adjust its size. Make it no outline and rotate the shape by 45 degrees. Place it over the main rectangle shape and adjust its size. Now create few duplicates of this small rectangle shape using Ctrl plus D and adjust their length or width. Place all these duplicates in a pattern as shown. Also add few circle shapes into our design pattern. Now apply gradient pattern to each of these shapes. Make use of format painter to apply same gradient pattern to different shapes and make sure they are randomly distributed across the design.
Holding down control key, select few shapes and send them to back. Add title text field to finalize your design. So here is the preview of our design. Looks beautiful. Let's proceed towards our animation portion. Select big rectangle shape and the text field and hide them in selection pane. We will animate these two shapes at the later stage. Now go to animations tab and enable animation pane. Before we start, let's draw lines passing through axis of each rectangle shapes. We will make use of these lines while aligning the motion path animation endpoints. Select all lines and send them to back. This will help selecting shapes rather than lines. Now select any one rectangle shape and move it outside of slide area but along the line. Go to motion path animation section and apply any line motion path because anyhow we are adjusting its endpoints. Now holding down red color animation point, drag the shape to its original place. That's where this animation will end. Make sure to align the motion path along the reference line. Reduce the animation duration to 1.5 seconds and add bounce effect of 0.9 seconds. Now drag the next rectangle shape in opposite direction and follow same steps. Only changes, we need to start this animation with previous. Similarly follow these steps for all shapes. Just make sure to drag every alternate shapes in opposite direction. You can make use of animation painter to speed up your process but don't forget to adjust the end animation points.
Now drag over all circle shapes to select them and apply zoom animation. Start them with previous and increase delay by 0.25 seconds. Let's preview the animation once. That looks perfect. Now go to selection pane and unhide big rectangle shape and text field. Select the rectangle shape and apply zoom animation. Start it with previous and let the delay duration be at 0.25 seconds. Similarly apply zoom animation to text field, start it with previous and this time increase the delay duration to 0.5 seconds. Finally, select all reference lines using selection pane and delete them. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.